007, we followed the tracking signal from the devices you placed on Yayakov's trucks to an old plantation in the bayou. You must get inside to find out what he's up to. Why, but isn't my old friend Katya? So much for dinner in London. Time for a house call. So why are the extra security? <sighs> Didn't you hear? Someone killed LaRouge last night. No kidding. Well, I'd say he had it coming. Hmm. Uh, stay sharp. That's good advice. It's imperative you find out what Yayakov is up to, 007. Welcome back to Everything or Nothing. I'm Frozen Treasure. Our first Bond moment here is awarded for, quote, a silent entrance, unquote. We need to dispatch the first two guards and get to the attic without the sniper seeing us and firing a shot. This house is big. There's a bunch of rooms, tunnels for the Q-Spider, and dead ends we could find ourselves in. Fortunately, the layout is actually pretty basic. The attic contains some armored vests and not-so-secret passageways. The middle floor contains lots of rooms with nothing in them that are a waste of time to look in, as well as a locked door. And the bottom floor contains the entrance of the level, the exit of the level, and two switches that open the locked door on the middle floor. One down, one to go. The switches can be done in any order, but this way gives us a clearer shot. That should do it. The security door is now open, 007. Proceed with caution. If only I had a rocket launcher right now. Man, if they had just blocked all the doorways with tables, we'd be completely stuck. There was a path for the spider to take that we could have used to open this as well, but it's pointless if you know where the switch is. Well, that feels a little arbitrary. There are better ways to lengthen gameplay, you know. You know the first rule of combat? Shoot them before they shoot you. But I guess James Bond knows better than I do. Good morning, Katya. Our goal is within sight. Out of these microscopic machines, a giant empire will grow. 
building on your research. We've improved the nanobots, altering their makeup with fungal spores found only here in the Louisiana Bayou, turning what was conceived as a blessing into a curse. Anything they penetrate will be instantly destroyed from within. Um, we've got a larger problem on our hands than we thought. Agreed. Nanobots that destroy metal. They're going to disintegrate the levees and flood the city. You've got to stop it, 007. That should keep us alive a little longer. That should keep us alive a lot longer. Convenient, Mr. Bond. You are just in time to die. Kill him! You're trapped, 007. Not if I can destroy Yayakov's machines. Those guys packed more of a punch than I thought. Now that they're out of the way, we need to destroy the four processing chambers. But first, let's get some Bond moments. He's under the floor! Get him! Ah, let him yell. It's not like anyone's coming. Not yet, anyway. It's not necessary for the Bond moment, but since we've got the spider here, we might as well use it to open the malfunctioning door. The other Bond moments are hidden down in this area. Firstly, another one of those pesky rocket launchers. And in spite of being connected to the platform Yayakov is on, destroying those red tubes does nothing. away from the machines! This should be a blast. Get out of there, 007. Quanti static activation pod has created an exponential electrical cascade anomaly. Yeah, none of that was English. Anyway, remember this trick? You'll pay for that, Mr. Bond! This is actually one of my favorite boss fights, simply from how different it is. Yayakov himself is untouchable in his enclosure, so we have to bring down everything around him. It feels far more involved than slowly draining a health bar. Okay, a pun like that really only works once. I mean, you couldn't think of anything else? Heavy molecular infuser failing. Injection seals compromised. <laughs> uh. Ah! The nanobots! Stop bombs now! Should be a blast. 
last. Dude, shut up. It's really not that clever. Hypercyclic suspension unit losing integrity. I swear, if he says that one more time. I want one dead now! This should be a blast. I hate this game. I hate James Bond. I hate puns. Vulcan pressure inducer overheating. Catastrophic reaction imminent. Damn it! He's destroying the entire plant. Kill Bond now! I think I know the perfect weapon for this. Goodbye, Yayakov. If that truck is allowed to enter the city, there's no telling how many innocent people will die. You're our only hope, James. Finally. Welcome to the best level in the entire game. In a few moments, we'll end up on the Ponchartran Bridge, at which point I'll stop talking and let this level speak for itself. So without further ado, I'll be back in a few minutes. Have fun!
Everything or Nothing is the best James Bond game. On top of everything else that makes the motorbike awesome, the flamethrower doesn't actually count as a shot fired, and so any level which uses it gets a massive boost in accuracy and efficiency. And this isn't even the highest score we'll end up getting. Your coin grenades now carry an EMP pulse option, 007. Use this function to disable any electronic devices within the blast radius. Remember that this mode won't harm people, only machines. So you're saying machines are people now? I see how it is. And with that, New Orleans is complete. Where are we going next? Probably MI6 for another interlude. But you didn't hear that from me. See you next time.